Hey folks, how you doing? Homestead Ed here. Well, I don't know if you remember, but a few months back I got my uh, amateur radio license. And I did this basically uh, because I wanted to get a, a ham radio for an emergency situation. So I'd have a way if the cell phone towers went down and there was no other way to communicate, I could communicate. And I had seen some ads for this, these little Baofeng radios. They call them handy talkies. And I'll tell you, I did it. it the test wasn't too hard. Um, I passed it. I got this little Baofeng radio, and I've been happy with it. But since I got the license, I've been getting involved with talking with people, and I decided I wanted to step up a little bit. Now, my thing is, is I have the two places. Um... And I didn't really want to set up what you would call a base station, both on Long Island and at the homestead in Pennsylvania. So I decided what I was going to do is make a little mobile base station. So let me show you what I got. I, I bought my parts and I'm intending to set this up uh, this weekend. And I'll show you a, a couple different stages as it goes along and what it's like when it's done. So I got myself a little Yasus, a Yasus FT-1900. It's a 2 meter ham radio. Um, this has four power settings on it. You can put out, oh I forget them all. It's like 5 watts, 10 watts, 25 watts, and 55 watts. So you get a lot of power out of this little guy. Um, and I've been playing around with it a bit. I haven't put it all together yet, but I've been playing around with it, and guys say it comes in great. And what I'm intending to do is set this all up, build it into this little uh, 50 cal ammo case. I'm going to cut out some containers and get it all set up, so except for the antenna and, and the transformer, I'll be able to just grab this, everything will be inside, then I'll simply hook it up to the antenna, plug it into the wall, and I'm ready to get on the air. Um, the power supply, I basically have two 7 amp hour batteries, so I will have some battery backup on this. If there's no power, I should be able to talk for a while just off the batteries. Got a little power supply here, the transformer. Um, and then I bought an SWR meter. This is really important. Uh, this is basically tells you how good your antenna is tuned in. And since I'm gonna be taking this from one place to the other place, and uh, switching it into different antennas, I want to be able to see. Um, that's about it. I bought a little tiny um, mag mount antenna for the car. So I, I bought this because it, in Pennsylvania right now at the homestead, I have a, an antenna set up, a fire stick up on a on a post, and that, that's really good. I've been playing around with it with an adapter I have for the handy talkie, and it does really good. I'm going to build another base station antenna here on Long Island. And then I figured, but for now, I could pra I, I could try it out with this little guy. Or if I'm traveling back and forth, I could stick this on the top of the roof, have this sit in on the passenger seat, and I could, uh, just, you know, maybe make some contact. So I'm going to get down in the basement. I'm going to cut this out a bit, and then I'll show you how it's coming along, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. So I've got everything uh, planned out, marked out, and I'm ready to go. I drilled a couple little test holes in there uh, just to see that things will work. And I figured I'd give you a quick little look. Um, inside here, what I did, I took the bracket normally used to mount this radio in a car, and I just flipped it upside down, and I put the two batteries in here, and it fits nice and snug. So that's basically going to be uh, where my radio is going to sit, right on top of here. Now here, I marked out where I'm going to cut out to put the radio in. And I mounted a, the clip for the uh, mic to hang on the side. So basically, the radio is going to sit in there like this. On top of that bracket, and nice up and tight against the batteries. And then the SWR meter, I'm going to mount right here. And I'll have the cable for that coming out the bottom and going right into here. And then the antenna will attach to the top here. 
inside on top of the batteries. I'm just going to mount the power supply. The, these cables will go to my batteries. And this is going to come through the back and I'm going to have a little TV plug back there screwed into the back and that way I can just take my transformer and plug it right into the TV plug when I want to get some power. Well I'm going to get to work and I'll show you what it's looking like um, when I got everything cut out and ready to assemble. Okay so here it is set up. Um, I got a couple little touch-ups I got to do there. Got to put some kind of trim around here where it's not cut nicely. But basically it's all set up. I got it plugged in right now just to this little um, mobile antenna. And um, let me give you a peek inside. There we got our batteries and the power supply. And um, I can run a little while off of the batteries or I have a transformer hooked up to this power supply. So when I'm at a place where I have power, I just plug this in. And uh, that'll keep me going a lot longer. But let's just see if we can pick somebody up quickly on the radio. Uh, let me try turning this on. A little low on power here. When I click this, I'm on a repeater right now. So when I click this, if we hear a beep, that means we got the repeater, or sometimes it might even report in, but let's see. Okay, so you hear that beep there? That means I'm hitting the repeater. That repeater is uh, eight miles from my house, so that's not too bad, being in the living room. Here we go, some people talking. Well, I really don't want to put in people's conversations on YouTube, so anyhow. Oh, let's check out that meter there. Let's see what we're doing. Okay, I don't know if you can see how that meter is going into the red. You want to keep it at like 1.5, so this antenna is not tuned. Um, so we'll have to work on that. You know, it, really, a mobile antenna is meant to be sitting on the car. The car itself works as a ground plane for the antenna. But that's why it was important to have that meter. Well, anyhow... I hope you liked this video and uh, thanks for watching.